A woman at a Connecticut Target was breastfeeding her child when she was verbally attacked by a man who thought that the action was disgusting. In fact, the angry man said that uh, her breastfeeding her child was disgusting and that she was a whore. Let me give you the exact comment. This is according to the Huffington Post. A man, how are you a whore by breastfeeding your child? Yeah. Well, if it's yours, I mean, you've been having sex at the very least. Okay, well, that you, does not if, make you a whore. We're going to show you. We're going to show you a video of some of the altercation, mm -hmm. and you can see very clearly in the video that that man is not having sex. So maybe that's where his <laughs> resentment is coming from. But nonetheless, a man uh, who was purchasing food looked at her angrily and said. Can you do that somewhere else? That's fucking disgusting. He also called her a whore. Now, she posted a video of some of the exchange on Facebook, and she prefaced it by saying, um, before the video started rolling, he looked at me and said very angrily, can't you do that somewhere else? Um, that's fucking disgusting. You are nasty. I responded with, I'm feeding my baby, and I have the right to do it here. Walk the fuck away. Leave me the fuck alone. He responded, as he's walking closer and closer to me and getting louder, you are fucking disgusting, you are fucking disgusting, you are fucking disgusting, you whore. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're gonna show you the video and it seems like he was a little more subdued because there were employees and people at Target who came to her defense, which is awesome. So take a look. No, you're rude. Because I'm feeding my baby, this man is going crazy, and I'm shaking. You know, I was gonna, you know, and before I'd seen the video, think, here's what I should do less talk. Um, because, like, I, at first I was going to be, you know, look, if you're shopping, I get it, you get to. But if you're like, I, I imagined it in my head without knowing the full details, that she was in the aisles, right? Mm. And, which is her right, but, you know, it's, most people would think to go somewhere vaguely mm -hmm. private. But she did. She went into the delicious restaurant at Target. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, there aren't customers all the over. Restaurant. Like, she clearly found an area that was, like, moderately private and her baby needed to be fed then and oh, it's uh, literally a place for eating it's, it's a place she went to she went to the restaurant the baby's eating Context and, and i get it and she could and i would never i mean and it, you get to do it in the aisles if you want mm -hmm. to you know mm -hmm. god bless but but you know that when you do it in the aisles some people are gonna be like hey, come on <laughs> right yeah but of course the only negative response you could give to someone who was breastfeeding their child in the aisles in front of everyone is to yourself hey, come on like that's it. That's all you're entitled to in America is a private, hey, come on. And you can call a friend afterwards. And then say, oi, come on. <laughs> hey, come on. That's all you get. Uh, yeah. and, but you, when you go, when she makes an effort to go to the restaurant and sit and then, yeah, she, uh, he gets, he's, an, he's an insane person. He looks like he's about six months pregnant, too. So he yeah, yeah to... he's disgusting. And he, I mean, it's just, I, everything about that guy creeps me out okay yeah. the fact that he was so bothered by that like the way he was acting how violent he was he got kicked out later and verbally violent he didn't yeah. lay a hand on anyone so I want to be clear about that but I don't I think on any given day we all come across things that might make us feel a little uncomfortable right sure. so if he was a little uncomfortable by it fine you're a weirdo and you haven't gotten laid in 10 years so maybe seeing a bare breast freaks you out right it's not bare. It, do, it doesn't it's take 10 it's years it's not even a bare breast you're right you don't you don't really see much she's breastfeeding her child but I mean, so what are we supposed to, every time we see something that makes us uncomfortable, we have to attack the person, attack the person acknowledge it, attack the person, and then just, like, yeah. harp on it? Well, look, I, I can say I haven't been around hundreds of women who are breastfeeding. I've been yeah. around a certain number. And just as a guy who hasn't been around a lot, it can be a little bit awkward because you don't want to shame the person by, like, looking away totally, but you can't look at them because they are still somewhat exposed. And I realize that at that point of their life, they don't care about that. I understand mm -hmm. that. But you're still not used to it. But we do have to get used to this. I remember an old episode from, like, 91 of Married with Children where they had this big standoff over breastfeeding in Al's shoe store. <laughs> it was decades ago, so I shouldn't be familiar with it. But I am, and we're still fighting those battles. But I do think 
This has nothing to do with breastfeeding. It doesn't have anything to do with a baby eating, because if you had taken the breast away and put a bottle there, no one would care. Yeah. It just has to do with breasts. And so we can solve this problem by solving the problem our culture has with exposed female breasts. Free the nipple, get over it, don't yeah. care anymore, and yeah. once you've seen them in every other context, the eating aspect doesn't matter. 